Hi, welcome to Thiro Academy. In this video, we will see about config server in our Spring Boot microservices project. Okay. Uh, in, in, sim in simple words, what is config server? What I will say is a centralized repository for common configurations for our microservices project. Okay. We will create one repository in GitHub, how we will read that common properties from GitHub and how we can provide that common properties to product service as well as order service. Till now we have seen that product service, order service, uh, services intercommunication and service registry we have seen. Now we will see config server. For that I am creating one project. Yes. Here, group name I am providing com.thero academy, artifact ID I am providing as cloud config and project name also cloud config. Metadata I have provided. Now, dependencies I am adding. Okay. Config server dependency is there. Yeah. Central management for configuration via git svn or has he corp. Okay. Fine. Config server I am taking. One more dependency I am adding as yeah, Eureka Discovery Client. This is also one of the client under service registry, one of the service. Cloud config also one of the service under microservices, right? That is why I have used that Eureka Discovery Client. I am generating project. I will import to IDE now. Yes, cloud config is imported to our IDE and I am enabling this also one of the client right enable discovery client annotation by using that annotation I am enabling that this is one of the service like that under microservices architecture yeah this is uh, one of the service and we need to provide some common properties right uh, yeah server dot port we need to provide Sorry, server dot port. I'm giving nine zero nine zero. Okay, if you want, you can create YAML file also. No need to worry. Okay, because we have used in product service, we created YAML, right? To show the differences, I am creating. Okay, whatever you want, you can create. Okay, Spring application name. Spring dot why it is not giving yes now came spring dot application name config server I am giving okay config server yes fine yes spring config cloud Okay, what is that? Sorry, that is Spring Cloud. Spring Cloud Config Server Git URI. Dot. Where is that? Yeah, config server git URA we need to provide one more thing one more property we need to provide spring cloud config server git clone and start also we need to provide true yeah fine from we need to provide the git URI here for that I am creating one new repository here sorry we need to create repository right repository name we need to provide here learn spring boot microservices okay yeah repository is available public I'm not giving any description readme dot file I am providing create repository yes when repository created here we need to create 
one file okay add file create new file file name your file name application dot properties yes commit changes yes fine in this file we need to write some lines of properties see here we have in product service or order service we have some properties right common properties whatever that is what are this is eureka client fetch registry eureka register with uh, eureka client register with uh, eureka these are the common properties for product service order service for all services right that's why i am using these common services okay i am commenting here okay i am providing fine right commit changes i am committing fine same day we need to comment those properties from product service also okay yes product service yes resources ml also we need to comment eureka related information yes fine we don't provided any uh, any configurations in common configurations in cloud config right this kind of configuration is not available in service registry yeah you can check once again yes no that uh, not having that properties in service registry right so we need to provide endpoint uri in cloud config yeah this is the uri Let's see yes i am copying this uri and providing here yes fine i am restarting that sir i am starting that cloud config run as spring boot application restarting remaining services also okay after running this cloud config uh, yeah it is up and running restarting order service product service then i will restart service registry also yeah service registry also i have restarted and i am refreshing yeah these are the services are running in our service registry okay config server order service and product service now i will place one order through postman okay this is the wrong information right to, to place the order yeah i am sending request now see product id not found we will give one correct product id now see two we have right quantity five is not having 2952 product table we need to see yeah only for a product id 952 we have only three quantity okay we are placing five now see we need to get not having enough quantity of products okay we got the exception also it's working fine i am placing order for one product okay now we are placing the order successfully 2002 will verify in order table 2002 yeah 7th march we have placed order with quantity 1 successfully right in this way we need to use the cloud config to place the all common properties in one place not only related to single service you can place 
related to all services also whatever you want one more thing you need to observe is in github we have placed in application dot properties, properties file, file. But, but in product service if you observe we are using ml file yeah right right uh, yeah then no need to worry about ml file or properties file whatever the file yaml you are using or properties you are using whatever we are giving it is taking why because spring is user friendly okay it's a, if you provide some properties in ml file it will take if you provide some properties in properties file also it will take first it will read the ml file then all then only it reads that properties file if you place the common properties in both files also no need to worry it will ignore first it will override the properties okay and in this way you need to use the cloud config in spring boot microservices project so come here this is the folder in my local i am cloning this git repository okay yeah come here right click if you are already installed in git it will show the options open git bash here expand it git clone repo we already copied paste here okay yeah i am using ls command to see the folders available okay uh, i am giving that folder name going inside to that folder okay in my local if you observe project already cloned okay whatever the projects we have created in that i'm copy pasting over here okay yeah we are till now we have implemented these four projects i am giving inside in that folder okay copy and paste it fine come here i am giving ls command here over here and we i am able to see the projects now here okay i am giving git add star command to push the code to git i am adding all the projects at a time okay yeah fine i am i have added now i need to give some commit message right git commit hyphen m i need to provide that message here spring boot microservices course fine yeah and we are getting exception that's why it is not pushing to git we need to set it is asking for uh, email and the username it is asking okay we'll set email we need to set oh paste email and username you need to set you can set that email and username then if you want you can use that uh, uh, if uh, uh, still it did push to git you can at that moment you can push to git by using git push command okay thank you after giving you email and username i am committing again git commit hyphen m commit message i have provided then i am pushing okay after providing git commit message then i have pushed it to git now it is accepted uh, after long time i'm um, i'm pushing that's why it is not identifying my username and password maybe it's expired also i have given again after that i have pushed it to git see cloud config all are available right uh, you can verify now
thank you thank you okay if you really like this video please like share and comment to my channel thank you thank you for watching